Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is James and you are watching Wonderful World. And I am here today with one of my favorite pets in the world. And that is Scarlet, who is my tomato frog. And I've had Scarlet for quite a while. You may have seen Scarlet in one of my earlier videos and I'll put a link to that in the corner. And at that time, I had Scarlet in a 20 gallon aquarium, and I put him in that because I thought he might enjoy the extra space. But as it turned out, he really just wasn't using all of that space. And more importantly than that, since tomato frogs are lion weight predators, I think that extra space just gave the crickets that he eats too much opportunity to stay away from him and I was concerned that he wasn't getting all the food that he needs. And as I have looked on YouTube for care videos for tomato frogs, I searched and really found that there wasn't that much complete information. So I thought it would be a good time for me to do more of a complete uh, care video for tomato frogs. And you might notice that I often mistake uh, Scarlet's pronouns. The breeder that I got him from had told me that it was a girl and one day uh, I heard him croaking and just realized that he's not a girl, he's a boy. So he is a boy named Scarlet even though that is generally a female name and maybe he would uh, prefer for me to use the they them pronoun uh, but that's okay. I think he's a young adult and he's still figuring out who he is. And I generally don't take him out to handle him, but I wanted to give you a good look at him. I don't want to stress him out anymore, so I think I'll put him back in his enclosure and then we'll talk more about his care. Tomato frogs are found all along the eastern rainforest belt of Madagascar and they can live up to 10 years in captivity and possibly longer with ideal care. And as adults, females are a little larger than males. They can reach up to four inches and males get closer to two and a half to three inches. And females are usually more red, while males are more orange and yellow. And when they are babies, they're more of a brown color and develop their brighter colors as they grow into adults. And tomato frogs are fairly easy to keep, but I think since it is an amphibian that needs to be misted at least once or twice a day, it's best to keep them in a bioactive vivarium with an accessible drainage layer. So if you're new to that, you probably want to learn how to set up and maintain a bioactive vivarium. And I've put a link in the corner here to a playlist of videos where I show you how to do that. And as far as enclosures go, uh, for a pair of adult tomato frogs, a 20 gallon aquarium is fine or an 18 by 18 by 12 uh, exoterra. With just one frog, a 10 gallon aquarium works well. And as this species is semi-fossorial, which means they like to burrow in their substrate, they don't really dig deep burrows, they just kind of go down to the level of their body and that puts their mouth at about the level of the ground. And when a, whenever a cricket comes by, they just kind of gulp it up. So you want to use uh, a substrate that they can burrow in. I use just regular ABG mix. I put about two or three inches of substrate and then I put down just a shallow layer of sphagnum moss on top of that and that helps hold humidity as well as give them an opportunity to dig themselves even more in. And you can use live plants. You need to give them some places to hide and a clean dish of water at all times. 
And because amphibians uh, absorb everything and anything through their skin, it's really important that you use pure dechlorinated water. Do not use distilled water because that can be harmful for a frog. Um, reverse osmosis water or spring water is good. You could put a water conditioner like Reptisafe into your tap water, but I prefer to use just bottled spring water for both misting and to fill Scarlet's water dish. As far as handling goes, with any frog, uh, it's just not a good idea to handle them because they do absorb everything through your skin. And if you do need to handle them, for instance, to move them to a different enclosure, you could wear rubber gloves. And when tomato frogs become stressed or feel threatened, they puff up their bodies to look big. And they can excrete a milky substance on their skin, which some people can react to. So you want to wash and rinse your hands well before and after handling a tomato frog. Tomato frogs are nocturnal, so they don't necessarily need any kind of special lighting unless you have plants in your vivarium, and then you would need some type of full spectrum light to keep the plants alive. But you do need to give them a 12 hour on and off day-night light cycle. Um, and a simple LED light uh, for, or just the ambient light in a room can do that. And as far as temperature and humidity goes, their temperature should be at low to mid 70s, which is around room temperature for most homes. And I wouldn't recommend any additional heat source for these guys because anything over 85 for an extended period of time can be dangerous to them. And I, as far as heat goes, like to uh, err on the side of the cooler side uh, instead of too hot. And you need to keep a humidity level at 50 to 70% at all times. If you're using an aquarium with a screen lid, I would cover at least one half to two thirds of the lid with a piece of glass or a piece of plexiglass to hold in some humidity, but you need to leave part of the screen exposed to provide some airflow as well. And as far as food goes, tomato frogs uh, will eat any kind of insects. Uh, they really do well on just a staple diet of crickets, but I occasionally give scarlet some night crawlers as well. They can also eat other insects and worms like mealworms and superworms. And to, tomato frogs have small mouths compared to their large bodies. So you want to be careful that the crickets you give them are not too big for them to eat. And you can teach them to be tongue fed. I don't do that. Uh, it's not something that you have to do. I just put about five to eight crickets in Scarlet's enclosure about three times a week. And I have a feeding schedule for all my frogs and geckos that is basically every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's important to dust the crickets with supplements. And I alternate between each feeding, uh, dusting the crickets with calcium and then with multivitamins. And they are opportunistic feeders, so they burrow themselves into the substrate and wait for their prey to come by their mouths. And for a while, I put Scarlet in a 20-gallon tank, as I said, and it just seemed like that gave the tr crickets too much opportunity to be away from him. And so I think he's much happier in the 10-gallon tank that I put him back into. So to recap that information, as you can see, tomato frogs are pretty simple to take care of and they are hardy creatures. And as long as you do those things, they will do fine. You need to mist them each day with pure water. Don't handle them too much. Set up and maintain your vivarium properly and keep the temperature and humidity right. 
and feed them some dusted crickets about three times a week. And if you do that, they will thrive. And tomato frogs are not very active animals, uh, but they are beautiful creatures and they have the funniest personalities. It's like having a grumpy old man that you love inside of a frog's body. And so that's it for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and like and subscribe. And until the next video, I look forward to seeing you again real soon.